Hi, I'm Chuck Alexander. I'm the product manager for the V650 Flex stereolithography printer from Stratasys. Stereolithography was the first commercially available 3D printing process, and it became available in 1987. Now, I've been involved in the industry for 30 years, almost since 1987, and I've seen a lot of changes in those 30 years. In the beginning, stereolithography was an open system. It was a system that allowed you to build a 10-inch sized part. You poured resin into the top of the vat, used ultraviolet lasers that, if you were lucky, got 14 milliwatts of laser power. You had to program the system. Now, all of these things allowed for users to do a lot of creative things with that system. Uh, they were able to work with different material vendors in order to get material properties that they wanted. Uh, they were able to build parts hollow, build them solid, build them finely detailed, build them coarse and large, a lot of different things. Over time, systems became more closed. So that meant there were fewer material developers to work with. It meant that the software had parameters removed, which limited how you could build parts. And this ultimately limited the number of applications and the applications that were developed for stereolithography application development is really tied hand in hand with material development. Having a closed system where material vendors are limited really handcuffs the customer as to coming up with the right solution with stereolithography to solve their applications. Flexibility is key when you're developing applications and especially in material development. Stratasys has partnered with DSM Somos for providing stereolithography materials. And the four materials that we're providing initially allow a broad versatility and flexibility for application development. There are a number of features of materials that are critical for use in stereolithography. Low shrink is one, having materials that are robust, having materials that work in liquid format with the machine, and working with R&D departments to match the particular applications that they're going after. Now that R&D world is different from people who just want to crank out prototypes for form and fit and verifying and helping their product development. From Stratasys, we can provide both of those things with material developers to provide those R&D type of materials and also providing standard materials that make the process plug and play for the customer right after their machine gets installed. The materials that we've partnered with DSM Somos for are Somos Next, Somos Perform, Somos Watershed and Somos Element. Stratasys, with their introduction of the V650 Flex, is now providing a system that's open again. Open to material, open to software, and open to application development to synergize what our customers are doing to provide more benefits to the market. You may have questions about how stereolithography can synergize your product development process. With over 30 years delivering products and services, Stratasys can answer those questions.